This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. Hate hoax epidemic. At least 17 faked Trump hate crimes reported since November election. By Jim Hoft. According to the Federalist a fake hate incident is not difficult to spot. The more an accusation of wrongdoing or criminal activity sounds like a picture-perfect capitalized example of hate crime or wicked evil behavior, the more you should mistrust the claims. There have been a slew of reported hate crimes since Donald J. Trump shellacked Hillary Clinton in the November election. But, to the surprise of no one, most of the reported hate crimes ended up being complete fabrications. In fact, it is safe to say more people were arrested for fake hate crimes than Trump supporters arrested for abusing a poor Democrat after the election. If you are aware of any Trump supporter being arrested for assaulting a Hillary supporter unprovoked please send us notice. It is also true that there were 2,000 reports of hate crimes against Trump supporters since the election. Reddit user Dalazu put together this list of fake hate crimes since the November election. The Texas family whose car and motorcycle were burned, and whose garage was spray-painted within, are lover, only to have his wife later reveal that her husband had hoaxed the community by doing it himself. www.dalanews.com web link The black, white supremacist arrested for the infamous burned-down black church which had vote Trump written on it, ubcnews.go.com web link South Philly graffiti, black bitch Trump rules, arrest made, turns out to be black white supremacist, www.philly.com web link. Young lady who was arrested for fabricating a story about an attack by racists on the NYC subway while yelling Donald Trump, idra.com web link. Young lady from Ann Arbor who fabricated a terrifying tale of a Trump supporter threatening that he'd burn the hijab off of her if she didn't take it off www.clickandetroit.com web link University of Louisiana at Lafayette student who now admits she fabricated her claim that men wearing Trump hats attacked her, knocked her down, and stole her headscarf, coffee.com web link The brown white supremacist arrested for writing KKK and swastikas at Nassau Community College, patch.com web link the Bowling Green student who was arrested after falsely claiming she was attacked and taunted with racial slurs by MAGA gear wearing Trump supporters, www.tl.com web link. Another student at BGSU who fabricated a story about a robbery and derogatory slur, www.tl.blade.com web link. A black man in Malden, Boston area who claimed he was forced to run for his life after being threatened with lynching, chased, and told that it apostrophe s Trump country now, but then admitted he fabricated the story, www.bostonherald.com web link. The man who hung a Nazi flag in SF, incidentally, across the street from his neighbors whose family members were Holocaust victims, only to later explain he was making an anti-Trump political statement www.sfgate.com web link The courageous throat-punching, racist-stomping woman who claimed to have bashed the fash only to be inexplicably handcuffed for her trouble, but who police say fabricated the incident, www.ndaily.com web link The woman who was supposedly threatened at a gas station with a gun by Trump supporters, but who never contacted police and has now deleted her accusation www.phillyvoice.com web link Williams College students who admitted they wrote KKK graffiti and dumped fake blood in a church to bring attention to the effects of the presidential election, williamsrecord.com web link Bisexual North Park University student whose school says fabricated hateful pro-Trump messages, www.nchicago.com web link an Elon University hate message that received national attention by by Latino Sosta La Vista but was later revealed to be written by a Latino student who was upset about the results of the election and wrote the message as a satirical commentary, www.elonnetwork.com web link. These Wellesley College kids, accused of screaming racist and homophobic slurs, but were cleared of charges when it was determined they were only yelling make America great again. Incident took place in front of Harim B. House, Kek, www.bostonglobe.com web link.
This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.